guys staring at me aren't helping. <laughs> uh, what am I doing here in Phoenix? We're at the Bondurant Racing School and uh, they're teaching us how to drive. <laughs> There's our race winner there. I think his name's uh, That's Jake. Jake, Lee. Jake, he's gonna win the race. Geo Storm Celebrity Race in Iowa. If we don't do good enough, we have to turn in our muscle cars. And if I win, they're gonna give me this car and the badge that goes along with it. It'll be me and Jake and Jeff. And uh, uh, Ray's not feeling well, so he decided he didn't want to make the trip. But uh, it's just as well, he doesn't have a driver's license anyway. I guess we're sort of a hard rock, blues based, Band. It's it's uh, simple. I like to think it's just straight ahead rock. And with um, interests in bluegrass, country, funk, and jazz, sort of. We want to write songs our way and play them our way. We're trying to be, you know, a little bit more of a hardcore, hard rock, you know, hard rock blues based type thing. And it's all a real natural feeling thing. It's just really. Awesome. Fire. I, I got in touch with Jakey. In 1988. And we arranged uh, that I come out to LA and we'll jam. Once I heard Ray's voice, I, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. We auditioned a lot of poodles. They were like all these guys with big hair and they really didn't have, they didn't know how to play, but they were like rolling around on the ground and, you know, doing the splits and licking their bass and just doing all this poser stuff. We got uh, wired up over here. I didn't do any of that sort of stuff. I just played. And he worked out great. He got the ugliest poodle we could find. Although, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and straightened his hair out. And he just got one of those Mattel creepy crawler sets, you know, with the plastic goop, and they've made me. What? <laughs> Would you say it's a dream come true for you, Jeff? God, it's a dream come true just because I don't have to sing anymore. And Jeff, I guess Jeff didn't really think he had a really good shot at it to begin with because he had been a singer just prior to getting the drummer gig with us. So this is my mentor and this is the person that taught me how to sing. As it turned out, he was the best drummer for the job, so. What? After he got out of jail for cruelty to animals, uh, he started playing the drums. Not so uh, what they call a Flintstone drum run, which is all the way down the drums. I'm more snapping off things and pushing towards things. Are you looking forward to touring with us, Jeff? Boy, I'm looking so forward to touring with Greg, just because they'll let me come in their room and, and, and sleep on the floor if I have to, if I get sick of Ray. Jake, I, myself, and Greg, uh, we're pretty serious. So like to have Jeff come in and kind of like make everybody laugh is well needed in this band, you know? I've got to go choke my chicken now. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> First album, a lot of people were expecting Black Sabbath meets Ozzy Osbourne, heavy metal. And although we do love playing that, and we, we do play some heavy songs, and in the future we might even get heavier. We were aware of what people were expecting from us, and even though we basically played what we wanted to play, um, I think we were somewhat cautious in, in that we didn't immediately come out with an album that went as far over to the edge as possible. Since none of us really cares about being a millionaire or you know being a big rock star, um, those pressures don't exist. All we really care about is you know we want to make a living at it and play the kind of music that we want to play.
in general, I, I write the music and Ray writes the lyrics. Um, a lot of times Ray will come up with a riff and I'll work on it from there or I'll come up with a, a lyric idea. Uh, so we do kind of tend to wander into each other's waters. We don't sort of uh, categorize it too much, you know, because we do so many different sorts of styles of music, so we just kind of like to toss it in the salad bowl. Jake's right here in front of me, Greg's right here in front of me, and Ray's right in the middle, and that's how we write songs. We just play. Jake will just start a riff, and I'll watch him for a little bit, and I'll get an idea, I'll start playing along, and Greg will start playing along. Maybe not primitive, but um, um, more reckless, a little, a little more devil may care. Sort of. It's all trial by fire. It's never, gee, I wonder if A flat goes over the minor seventh in the Lydian fourth chord on the fifth week of August during uh, 1 p.m. So it's none of that crap. Even in the recording, it's just very simple. You know, like the old days. It's what all of us cut our teeth on, more or less. See, when we were learning how to play, it was, you know, stuff more from the 60s and 70s, so to speak. But, you know, they had a lot more heart and soul back then, I think. These four drums, $8,900. <laughs> when we do clubs, we headline. So we like playing an hour and a half or two hour set. That's always really great. When you're opening for somebody in a bigger venue, usually you're playing a half hour, 45 minutes. You're just kind of getting warmed up. It's time to go home. We've been waiting for it for a long time. Please welcome Badlands! But a lot of the songs we do, we don't do them just like the record. We like to do them different. I mean, if we didn't like the record, you wouldn't really need to come and see us play. You could just uh, buy the record. Take the
Japan. It's my first time. The dreams in the dark hit number one. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't even know. We were on this show, and it's like, you know, they're naming all these songs all the way up to number one. And I'm sitting next to Jake, and I'm going, damn, our, our, our song's not even on here. This is embarrassing. I didn't know it was number one. So it's number two, and I'm going, oh, this is really, this makes us look great, you know? And then all of a sudden, they said number one, Dreams in the Dark, and I was just like, that's pretty wild. I think the music on the second album is similar to the first album in some respects, but I think it ca it covers a much broader ground. I mean, it's it's a little bit heavier, it's a little bit funkier. Probably we're a little less a little less cautious and doing things a little more adamantly the way we wanted them done in the first place. Music is a real personal thing for us, and and you know, speaking for Jake, it's so personal for him that. You know, he doesn't really play it for anybody but himself. And the fact that other people like it, well, that's just like a plus. We feel we're successful if we've made an album that we can be proud of, and every single song on it is something that we're proud of. Um, whether or not there's anything with uh, commercial potential or, or radio viability uh, isn't a concern at all. I think people tend to think of us as being very serious. Uh, because we don't do a lot of clowning around, I, you know, on stage and that kind of thing. I hope people, when they see the video, realize that we have a sense of humor and we're just normal. We just don't use it. Yeah, we just don't ever use it. <laughs>
This looks bad. Don't film this. She's taller than me and stuff. I mean, Your name? she's got a 22 um, inch neck. Brown. <laughs> To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it be nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or adamant. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'd like uh, two tacos, extra sauce, uh, chocolate shake. We're yeah, thinking of quitting music and <laughs> we're quitting music and going to race car school. Honey, some big rain just came over. <laughs> Funny thing is we're in a tent. Okay, a couple of questions. Um, what do you want to know, man? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no one around? No teachers watching? Here we go. <laughs> Where's the temperature? Oh, look! We need windshield washer fluid. That would be a great show. ZZ Top. It would be Led Zeppelin. ZZ Top. I'd like Alice in Chains in there. Free Badlands. Let me see. Let's see what Miles Davis is doing. Johnny Winter and this is like Greg's Woodstock here. Mind Funk, uh, Queens Right, King's X, Grand Funk, Katie Lang, and uh, Jimi Hendrix. Jellyfish. It'd be the ultimate rock show in my mind. Song about a dancing girl. It's called Whiskey Dust. We like to take chances, so Whiskey Dust is a little bit different song. Mm -hmm.
the kids out there and stuff, that's always great. I like going out there and signing autographs. If anybody, you know, I look, always look at it, if anybody thinks enough of me or that they would want my autograph or to talk to me, great, let's talk. I'll sign anything. Just because I, it took me a long time to get this far and I know what it's like, so. I love you all, you're the best. Good luck with your album, guys. Yeah, hi, we love you. <laughs> Any favorites or anything? Jakey Lee. See, started playing guitar when I was about 13 or 14 because of Jimi Hendrix. Heard Purple Haze on the radio. And, um, it, uh, made the hairs on the back of my neck stood up. Stood up? Made the hairs on the back of my neck stand. See, I would say stand up. I would say stand up on my neck. I, I can speak that. English better than Greg. And I wanted to be able to do that. Maybe not to other people, but I wanted to make my <laughs> hair stand on the back of my neck up whenever I wanted it to. So I started playing guitar. As far as making videos, we have the decision on how we want to be, um, you know, looked at. You know, if some, if a director all of a sudden said, "I see you guys dressed up all glammy and posing and stuff," of course we would say, "Wait a minute, bub, you're way off base." I'd like to do them like in little dresses, kind of right. tram, not trampy, but a little okay. white trashy right. dresses. What? Wait a minute, bub, you're way off base. Now. When you make a big time official video, right, you plug it in to the tape here on the back of the guitar. That way, it's just not hanging down there with dang it. I want the kind of, um, you know, I see Ray and then see you and then see Greg and then see Jeff. I see Ray and then see you and then see Greg and then see Jeff. You know, I see Ray and then see you and then see Greg and then see Jeff. You know, I see Ray and then see you and then see Greg and then see Jeff. I like it. Badland blows into Actually, town. we're not supposed to be there, really. No, no, it's death and destruction caused by us. That's what I'm into. People banging into each other. Have you seen our, our brothel? Actually, the very first thing we ever did was last time. Was it last time? That was the first song we wrote, right? Yeah. It was the very first thing we ever yeah. did. Yeah, this song that you're hearing now is our first song that we wrote.
sound as as a band and not one or two members that are carrying you know the other two I everybody's everybody in this band's a very important ingredient for the uh, formula you know there's no egos involved it's just like one kind of like one big happy family I know it sounds kind of goofy but it's, it really is all the bands that we do look up to are bands that have been around for 10 15 years you know just want to want to walk in those same sort of footsteps. I'm going to go home and practice my... What's on toe shifting is trying to use all three pedals with two feet. Uh, that's where you're uh, driving along in your car, and you've got to slow down to go into a turn. you got to keep your foot on the, on the brake, then you take the car out of gear, put in the clutch. First you put in the clutch before you take the car out of gear. While you're braking, you got to give it gas, put, you got to put the shift in neutral, and rev it up so that it will go into the next lower gear, put on the brake, Put in the clutch. While your hand is on the shifter trying to get it in the right gear, let out the clutch, put in the clutch again, put it into third, and then you put on the brake again before you go into the turn and you accelerate and go out of turn. How's that? That's heel and toe downshifting. Yeah. And then what else we do? Film like really cheap for you or something? 